Hi everybody. Um, so for the first part of my tutorial, I showed you how to create a vector style mosaic using a picture from nature. And we created imaginative colors with it. So we just made up the colors in this mosaic and we wanted to use color theory and um, find colors that really matched and went well together. But in this second part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you what it would look like if you wanted to create colors that matched your object. So um, I'm going to search up another object. I'm going to click on my search the web um, image button and search the web. I am going to search for um, a cassette tape. I want to do a um, cassette tape image for my mosaic. I think that that would be pretty cool. And I want to maybe match the colors, probably something like this. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to come up with the blue check and I'm going to click insert for that. Oops. So I'm going to zoom out and see how it oops how it looks on the canvas and just see where it takes up space so i want to get it in the middle and maybe i want to turn it a bit that turn clicking and dragging to show the turn um i am going to pull again from the edge you don't want to pull from the middle it's going to make it um pretty warped. So I want to make sure this fits on there. Of course, this has a background on it, this image, and um, I'm not going to include that background when I create a um, mosaic on top of it. Um, oh, I'm just noticing right now that these letters and stuff are backwards, but you know what? I don't think I'm going to include the letters in my mosaic, but I think I do want to kind of match some of the colors that are behind it. Okay, so I like how it's turned. I think it's gonna fit on there okay. I hope so. Maybe I need to make it just a smidge smaller um, to make sure that it's gonna fit in there. And I'm liking how this looks. Okay, so now I'm gonna zoom in 200% and I'm gonna start to create my graphics, okay? And start to create my polyline shapes. So I'm clicking on my polyline tool I am going to um, go ahead and do the first shape. I am putting down my anchor. I'm coming around and I'm, you know, you can break this up however you want. It's kind of a geometric type of an object. And I'm gonna come around and make this corner shape my first shape. So I want to match it. I want this to look like a cassette tape. So I'm going to do probably various different blacks and grays. Um, I notice on my object that it's lighter over here and it's darker over here. So maybe I'll kind of start with some dark grays. Um, oops, that was the outline. I'll start with some dark gray. And then as I move over here, I'll make it get a little bit more and more black. Um, so I'm going to uh, click my polyline tool again. And, you know, maybe I want to make a shape here. See, there's an arrow right there. So maybe I want to go to my shape. I have an arrow right here. And that, that would be kind of cool as part of my mosaic to have an arrow in the mosaic. So I think I'm going to turn that around, try to kind of fit that in my mosaic. And I will also make that dark gray and I will take away the outline. So you guys can see it's going to just fit right uh, into uh, this piece. And I'm going to go pick up my polyline tool again. And if I wanted to make teeny, teeny, tiny pieces up here and here, I could. I'm not going to take the time to do that right now. So um, I could go and make a huge shape here for this whole side. But I think it would be kind of cooler, maybe a little more impressive if I broke it up a little bit more. So I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to, again, make my dark grays. Oops, that's a little too light. 
okay, and make my line transparent and work my way through the object. And this time I'm going to use the object as um, I'm in as the place where I'm going to get the information for what kinds of colors to use, okay? So I just wanted to show you guys that as a second option for your mosaic project is that you don't have, you can make up your colors and be imaginative, or you can actually be inspired by the item that you are mosaicing. okay? All right, I'm gonna try to finish this up and then I'll show you guys the final image. Okay, I'm working on the blue spaces now and you can see I am trying to break them up as best I can so that it looks as much like mosaic tile as it can. And it's pretty cool because um, Google Slides will kind of automatically try to figure out what it is that you're wanting. Um, after you've done a, a couple of shapes and changed them to be the same, it will kind of automatically do that for you. So I'm just going now into the blue section um, here, which is all one color. And oh, there you go. And um, just breaking it up so that it looks a little bit more like a mosaic. Um, I could have made the whole thing blue, but I in just one single shape, but I think that it's going to look better if I break it up. So here I'm finding a couple more shapes like this arrow and these circles that I could actually use the shape tool um, with. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and try to fit those in there. Um, as pieces in my mosaic and again trying to match the colors with the objects and for the circles I could actually go ahead and use the uh, circle tool you can't even see them at the moment because they are the same exact color but I'm just trying to match those up and then I'll go back to my polyline tool and draw around them around it like this okay okay so here is the moment of truth I have gone around my whole cassette tape and I have mosaicked it <laughs> so um it's not you know as detailed as I would like it but that's okay I am just gonna go with it so now I am going to go ahead and delete the background. So I'm just going to make sure that I have only the picture selected and none of my mosaic pieces. And then I'm going to delete it. Well, that actually looks pretty cool. Um, I do see this line here that I did not get rid of. So I'm going to take a moment and do that. Okay, there. Now I have a mosaic of my cassette tape and I really like it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose a background now. So I'm going to choose again a solid color and thinking about what I might want to put on there because there is a lot of darks and lights but it's mostly grays and there's a little bit of blue so maybe I want to do some sort of a gold background that might look really cool. Oh yeah I love that. All right, so that is how you are going to complete it if you wanted to match um, the colors of the object. And as you can see, it's it comes out really fun and it doesn't have to be perfect um, to look like a really cool mosaic. All right, happy mosaicing, everybody.